Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be making this joy panel. So let's pick out some glass. So this red glue chip glass is very textured on the front, so make sure I want to flip it over and then I have to remember to flip all of my pattern pieces over too. And I'm using this uh, fine point oil based metallic silver sharpie, my favorite marker to trace patterns. Next, I will cut whatever I can, as much as I can by hand, and whatever I can't cut, I will use my ring saw. So that'd be like for these pieces and this super deep curve here, but the rest should be fine. Then to finish off these two pieces, I just need to take it through the ring saw real quick. So my glass wasn't completely clean before I um, traced the pattern with my marker. It had probably had some cutting oil residue on it, so the, uh, I have to retrace it. If you have clean glass, you shouldn't run into that problem. That means I'm probably, it's probably gonna happen here. So I'm just gonna clean these with some alcohol and then retrace the patterns. Okay, let's try this again.
Okay, all of my rough cuts are done on this panel. So now I'm just going to take all the pieces to the grinder, grind all the way to the paint marker line, and then reassemble it, see where I need to grind some more and just make sure everything fits really well. I didn't cut any of the leaves yet because that's the last thing I'll do. I just want to get the main part done. changing a little bit of the design on this piece uh, and sometimes that happens uh, once you get halfway through a project you realize you wanted to do something a little different so in the original one there was just going to be one solder seam right here to connect the J around but I decided it looked unfinished so I just cut a little sliver of white to go here I think that helps balance it out a little more Okay, so now what I need to do is I need to just go cut a piece of hobby came, stretch it out, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put hobby came around the three berries here, and then I'm also going to put hobby came around each set of leaves. It'll help... Um, add some strength and stability to the little pieces because I'm going to be soldering them on top of the zinc came that I'm putting around here. So I want, I want, I don't want them to be flimsy where they can just pop off. I want them to be really secured. So in order to do that, actually the first thing I need to do is put a little piece of foil on each leaf here and here and then tack solder that together before I can attach any sort of hobby came. So these, since these are opaque, it doesn't matter what color backing foil I use, so I'm just gonna go with copper. And I'm going to use um, 3 16 foil. So then I'll just solder them right there, and I'll put one piece of hobby came here, um, a second piece here, and a second piece or a third piece there. So I'll need three pieces of hobby came for each set of leaves. just stretched my hobby bud. Um, so now I'm going to wrap the little berries. Um, 
I always start out just by kind of estimating how much I need. And then the best thing you can do is just roll on a hard surface. So I still need to trim a little bit.
So I almost forgot to record this part. Uh, what I'm doing right now is I'm attaching the zinc frame. Uh, I started right here, um, and I, so I'm, this is the back side. I'm doing the back side first, so I tacked on here, and then I, I usually stand it up and just start rolling it on the table, but I also have this straight bar here so I can um, really hold it tight while I solder it. Okay, so the next thing I need to do is attach the berries and the leaves. Um, this is pretty simple. I just need to tack solder to attach the hobby cane to the zinc, and then I'll flip it over and put solder every, at every joint. So it'll be good and secure.